Okay then, right then guys, we are going to test for reducing sugars or glucose uh, in some of these foods. So what, um, which solution do we need to use for this? Yeah, yeah, so, uh, Benedict solution, sorry. Um, added with a bit of heat and what's the result that we're expecting to see? You should see a colour change. Yeah. And what's the colour change? Brick red. Brick yeah, red. Brick red, there's lots and lots of glucose in there. If you don't a little bit of glucose, what colour should we get? Maybe orange, maybe even yellow, yellow, maybe even green. So here's my challenge to you. I want you to use your pestle and mortar, select a food that you think is going to have a really high glucose content, and I want you to select one that you think will have a slightly lower glucose content, carry out the test, and prove to me that you're right by showing me something that's brick red and something that's orangey yellow. You've got all these things to choose from, completely up to you, uh, you go for it. What do we need to do to make sure we keep this uh, a valid experiment in terms of how much food we put in? We should put the same, same amount. amount. Yeah, same amount. You can do that by volume, you can use it with the measurement balance. Totally true. This is your experiment. You go for it. Okay? Right, go for it. Don't be afraid to add a little bit of water, help mush it up.